What's going on, everybody? This is John Bain. What a welcome you to Conan Exiles. Look it down. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Do want to remind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because my lord, we have been making stuff happen. Uh, it's we've had we've done a lot of grinding and stuff uh, since the last episode. It's actually taken quite a while um, to get to this point. You'll see exactly why. Um, I did do some building off camera too. I linked it on the, the the Twitter, if you will, the Twitter, and also the um, community tab on YouTube. Uh, just a picture there, but several pictures on Twitter. But this is what we've done. I've gotten the elevator pretty much built to specifications of what I want. Um, I've done a force and offset here, which worked out pretty good. And then I also force an offset for the edge pillars to go up to give us a nice little pillar ends um, for our lovely handrails. They weren't connecting very nicely uh, on the edges, which is fine. We used the insulated beams or the pillars to make it look like it was. So I'm happy with that. Also, if you look really carefully, you can see there's two kinds of beams on here, too. There's the, the that one, and then there's also the Pythagoras ones. I felt like it helped give a better bottom to our offenses or, or, or railings. Like it was a, attached kind of with that and into the, the bigger beam. So it looked a little bit nicer, I think. And then we have the edging all the way across this across the board. Uh, it looks nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy with the little support beams we put in and also the lighting. Uh, is the doggo down there? Nope, the doe does not. Okay, cool. He's probably out eating or something like that. Uh, but anyway, we've got a couple support beams in there just to kind of fill it out. It's all the insulated style. Also here, we've also got the offsets for the pillars as well down here to kind of again give the cap to it. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. It feels a little, feels completer than it did. Uh, I, and try to get some nice detail work in it, but not over the top, like realistic-ish kind of looking, but... Again, not too much. I thought about tying in supports at the top of this to kind of bring it in some more, but I was like, ah, I think we'll just leave it the way it is and go from there because this is where the foundation's actually in. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a, a spacing here because I end up putting ceilings up on the foundation just so it would keep a flat uh, walkway out to the actual elevator itself. And anyway, we go through a doorway here, so I feel like this is an acceptable area for it to drop back off. Also, uh, speaking of, well, we have lighting over here too. I got tired of the standing torches, and the uh, so I put these guys in, and these are spaced like this, not on the edges there, so they would match with this side. And so at nighttime, it has a nice glow to it. Um, and speaking of lighting, I have lit up our cathedral of love. It is just ready to get moved in and being used, and I'm so ready to start like having better uh, matte output, thorough put. Uh, I don't mind grabbing the raw mats. It's just waiting for them all to be processed. That is really uh, taking away from the adventure, which is part of the, the progression. So, uh, well, I was going to go up here. Was this, I was going to show you. I don't know. I just felt like I need to go up here. There's an elevator. I need to go up here. Oh, I do need to still put, like, lighting outside. So, I want to have uh, probably fireballs out here or something. But, um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the with the builds, uh, the lighting in it. It's, 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 like, bright enough. I mean, I don't want anyone to hurt themselves while they're at this lovely place willingly. Willingly, mind mind you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The pre the the visitors will will just just be just chilling and having a great time and never want to leave. And that's the point. That's the point. By the way, I'm dressed up all snazzy because to make use of this area, we need more crafting stations, and to make better use of the crafting stations, we need more um more visitors. We need more visitors, and so I'm dressed up nicely because today, if I can look around. We're going to build a spa. We're actually going to build a good spa. This is going to be like, I wouldn't say it's going to be anything like this size, but it's still going to look tasty. And we need it so we can, you know, get some customers. You know, we'll send out some personal invitations and see who shows up. And maybe they'll want to leave. They'll be like, hey, we got a great resort up in the north. You should come and visit. And, and you know, a lot of crafting, you know, uh, uh, classes and stuff like that. Maybe we'll be able to, you know, entice a few to come up here. So we, we need to really get our, we, that's why I, this is my business attire. It matches like kind of the style of what we're going for. So you know, it's kind of like a cosplay -y business attire type thing going on. You know what I mean? Um, I will show you some stuff I've been doing uh, while doing all this and doing gathering. I've been having, this is where I'm talking about the Matt Thoroughfoot kind of has been, well, it's been a couple days. So um, I've got, actually I went over <laughs> to uh, while gathering, trying to get some high killing dudes. Uh, I um, picked up another smelter of tier two and another blacksmith of tier two. And I got a tier two um, 
Taskmaster. So at least we'll have that, to, uh, well, <clears throat> I mean, um, tour guide. Tier 2 tour guide to help with uh, relaxations and stuff like that when we open up the spa. Anyway, uh, this guy here is doing steel. This one here is doing um, regular bricks. And this one's been doing hardened bricks for me. Um, so we've been getting the uh, Iker from the, the, the ugly shrimps. Uh, and then been using that. And I had a few thousand of that from just doing it every time I log on my chores and stuff like that. Uh, he has made us a good amount of consolidant. I went and got more brimstone for more steel fire to keep the steel up. Um, and then I've crafted Aqualonian stuffs. Uh, I feel like this is a, I'm going to use most of that. Um, I had that on a hot bar. Uh, I have going to use most of that. Also, I've got all the butt lobsters we need. I crafted a set of heavy armor. I actually need to put those in because I was trying to have them prioritize steel for a little bit because we needed more steel to get done. And he's almost done with that anyway, so might as well just throw these in here now. Um, and then I've got some repair items on me too. There's a level one Taskmaster. I used a two to make me the steel truncheon and the next rawhide thingies. It was at, at a lower cost and whatnot. Um, and then also we have, I def I've made several steel. This is why I had to go. I made several steel reinforcements and then you saw what I crafted in my inventory, which uses a nominal amount. It's been, been, been a, an experience. And they're getting further. I'm not doing any more insulated wood for a while, but with the, the, he's back on shaped wood. Uh, we do have a decent amount of that. The biggest thing right now is the hardened bricks is what's, what's really holding up, which I probably could stand to once he's done with these. Uh, or, yeah, one, one, oh, that looks like a lot. <laughs> once he's done with these, I'll uh, throw um, in the consolidate and get some more hardened bricks out of it. So uh, I want to have a little bit extra mats when we go down there. I know I'm going to need to do some more things um for like building pieces to you know, make everything happen also i did a test and bobby can't go i feel really bad because you know bobby's a friend but uh he, i don't want to bring his back i I'm, I'm i'm trained for this sort of thing he's still yet a young young uh, horse you know just out of a uh, full hood and i uh, don't want to like break his back so <laughs> we're gonna have to hoof it on foot um and i had a, a hard decision to make it was either go get black ice or go get more thralls. And I was like, what's gonna, you know, black eyes will let's do hard steel. Um, but I feel like I wanna get thralls when you get this spa rolling. I, I, if you're gonna start a business, you can think about it for so long, but you need to go ahead and get it done. You know what I'm saying? Get it going and get it done. So, anyway, is there anything else I was gonna show you guys that we did? Uh, I don't think so. I probably am forgetting some things, but that's just how it goes. I did, I did. Uh, in preparation, um, we're going to bring some lovely, lovely um, Highland Berry Pulp. We're gonna we're gonna tell them it's 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 it's, it's a, an adult beverage. It doesn't mean that it has alcohol or anything like that. But it's just for adults. I didn't make this for any kids, so yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get uh, well the rest of the mats together to bring with me. Uh, get a couple chests uh, and some other things. I think we're gonna need while we're down there. And I guess we'll meet you down because we're going down to Sipanemanema to do to set up our spa. You guys, hold on. Okay, we have arrived at our destination. Not exactly, but almost. Uh, I had a couple of scuffles in the way, but nothing major. I did get to kill a goat king twice in a row. There were two goat kings right there. I don't know how that works, but okay. And I want to... We're going to go where we did last, last time. Uh, last season, was it? I don't even remember now. But uh, we're gonna set up in there, but we're gonna make it look a lot better. The last one was a, it was like a test test one, and we were just testing. I'm spamming E by the way while I'm swimming. I'm just gonna go ahead and swim. Go ahead. Yeah, we're just we're just we're just here. Just you know, check it out. About to open up our spa. You know, just wait. Just be be patient. Um, oh, I didn't make the greater wheels of pain yet, but I have the stuff to make them on me. Hopefully. I grabbed the rest of the stuff that I could. I didn't bring all my steel reinforcements, but a, a good chunk of them. Um, but I like the idea of it being over here. And we're able to build in here. This is one of the mods that we have. Oh, that is a wreckage we don't need to have to deal with. Uh, hmm. I wonder if we could just lower it and put it in here or something like that. Oh, I didn't bring any half walls. We can make half walls, though. Go and grab some stones. Uh, we're gonna set up in here. Maybe this will be okay. Let's see. We can do the greater wheel of pain. I have to make twine. Okay. Well, I do. Ha I did bring a bunch of grass 
with me too, so we'll be fine with that. There's some twine there. Let's go ahead and make the. I had like a thousand in the freaking armorer's bench, and I didn't even bring it. <laughs> I didn't. Even, I should have crafted this before we even left, though. We we're crafting all of it. Screw it. All right. Well, while we're crafting that, I guess we'll need to get some more fibers, and I need to have that to know about my size that we're going to be looking for. I'm thinking about trying to have maybe a lower foundation just below the waterline, so we can drop the um, wheel of refreshment down, the greater wheel of refreshment. Um, and tasty drinks. It's just this is gonna be this. This I don't really care for this here for our our lovely establishment. Maybe I should look around some more and maybe we can find a. I don't know. I like how this is placed too. Great view of the city. It's like a central position. I mean, granted the bar is down and around the corner. That's the only issue we have. There is a water place on there, but it's way further away from these guys over here, and we still need to get to be able to, get to the back too. So I guess this is gonna have to be it. Um, Maybe I just need to start clearing stuff. I would like to leave some of the palms up, help you know promote that lovely, fresh feeling in here. Uh, man. Well, let me go ahead and get this twine done, and I'll get some um, the two greater wheels of pain, and then we will be back. All right, I've got the two greater wheels of pain of 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 uh, lusciousness crafted. Um, I went and gathered a little bit of stone and wood around the area. I uh, passed out some flyers to the upcoming uh, spa, and um, and made some sandstone foundations. Now, what I would like to be able to do here is actually set it up to where we have them both here. Can I go down with this? I can. Can I go any lower? That might be low enough. And we're using this to kind of get our, make sure we have our spacing right for this lovely place. And then we're going to use, uh, I'm making some of the half walls too, just to kind of make sure that we have everything set up nicely, uh, like that we can go up a half height instead. Oh, I forgot to bring... Oh, I can make them. I can craft them. Oh, wait, I need insulated wood. Oh, boy. I might have to run back to base. <laughs> it is what it is. That's how this goes. Um, and so we'll have the, like, the lovely water in there. I wonder how much... If we could do it just like right about like almost that height. Maybe a little bit higher. So, so they can have their nice foot massage when this is happening. Hmm. I really like the spot, uh, and, and that's right there, though. Hmm. Is there anything kind of... Um, can we go over here and do it? This might be a better spot, actually. Let's try that out. Let's clean up behind us. Always clean up behind yourself, especially when you're on a server. It's the best thing to do. If, you're not, if it's not a permanent settlement area, you know, or a spa... You know, make sure you re just make sure you clean up behind yourself. That's just the nice thing to do. Uh, we'll put them over here, I think. I think this will be a good spot to do it. Now, if I put a guy in, in the ground over here, like, what type of height is this going to do for us for the greater wheel of uh, enjoyment? Wait, did it put it in? I can't tell. It did not. not. Wait, it did. It did. It just went weird. It did. Okay, there we go. That's it. There. Okay, so that is the first next step up is up too high. So we actually need. Where'd you snap to? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I can't zoom in and. and... Great. I'll have to find that bad boy. Uh, let's move over a little bit and see if we can get this up here. So how high can we? Oh, we can get it right below the surface. That's about what I'm thinking of. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Scroll out. Press four again and then move this thing up. And see where we're at for angles. Let's use this. I have a better idea. Let's use this uh, right here as our entrance way. And kind of get a line off of that. So this is kind of where it wants to be. Kind of like. Um, that might work. Let's bring you down like about. Oh, I'd say somewhere. Like, ooh, it has two spots it wants to be in. Can I get you where you just go under here? Nope, that's not it. All right, so let's go in a little bit this way and bring it up. How are you looking there? Why is it looking weird? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Yeah, this, this is going to work out better. As you guys know from previous seasons of Devolved, um, I, I have a little experience in building water, 
That looks good. That's a good height. I like that. Okay, so what I need to do is expand out the sides. Let's see how many more I can make. I can make six. Now we're going to do some wedges too, but I want to at least get the central floor set up to be good for our lovely, lovely, lovely wheels of, of enjoyment. And um, I guess I need more wood, I think, cause, or stone. It might be stone. I might need to go gather some more of that just so I get started up with it. I, I am, I mean, granted, we can't see the, the sandstone. I just hate to have a lower class like level, you know, under... You know what I mean? Just like we like, I want it all aqualonium, but the size it's looking at it and the how many pieces I got, I might only be able to do the the areas that um, are gonna be above water with it. We can try that out and then change out the sandstone, I guess, in the end. So I guess uh, again I need to go gather some more. What I'm gonna do is gather up some more stone, uh, come back and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the floors the best I can and maybe try to get the wheels placed, because if you know anything about me with like stuff being placed right, it can take me like thirty minutes sometimes to get these things where I want them. See you guys. Hold on. Welcome back. And as you can tell, we are not at our spa location. We are back up north. It's getting low on mats. I mean, I still had some, but I was calculating the amount of builderization that had to occur with the amount of mats they had. It just wasn't enough. So I have been busy for several hours getting, um, and I'm not complaining. It's part of the game. Uh, getting the mats together. We've got, uh, I got, went on a crazy plant fiber rampage. Um, and did that. I did get a decent amount of seeds and some bees and some insects, which I threw into the, the fishing lovely cage net traps and got some more fishies going and some more of the scrimps um, going on. I did find two foals while out and about, and I made a second stable. And so we have a recipe horse going. We have a swift foal and we have a, another sturdy one we found. So those, we can have some friends with Bobby. Bobby about have some friends. That's gonna be great. He'll, he'll have he'll be able to hang out not just by himself. Um, so I've done that. I went did another runs more runs of iron stone, more runs of stone. Got some more reinforcements made. As you can see, my inventory. I've got a decent amount of reinforcements now from them being done earlier. I need to grab some more shaped wood. We have some hardened brick. I've already crafted a couple more foundations. I left all the stuff in a box hidden. Um, at the other place, so that's the, that's why I was able to, you know, that's why I don't have all my other stuff I was showing earlier. But I'm gonna wait for some of the stuff to get done and queue up some more things. We do have some more lovely bricks coming, and you were making more steel fire and consolidant. And not getting, uh, while I was out there getting some lovely, uh, oh, he's already done, but I already put it away, but, um, getting some more of the plant fiber, fought some more wolves. Got the basic wolves. I can't. I still can't handle really the big, big boy wolf yet. So, um, we get fought them. Got some wolf, uh, uh, fur and stuff. Did a round of that, and then went out again. And now I got some more pelts queued up. So I'm so ready to be able to use the uh, the cathedral of love to get uh, mats going because this is a slow process, but it's a, it's a worthy process. I could have done it the other way around, but then we wouldn't have thralls. So it's like the chicken before the egg, the egg before the chicken. Why not have both? We can't. So we had to choose one. So I did. Um, but anyway, I figured give you an update there. I mean, I'm really excited about the horses to see what they turn out to look like. It'd be really cool. It'll be really cool. Um, but either way, next time you see us, we will be back down in the the, the, the spa to be. And, um, and we'll get some more builderizations going on. We have returned to the place of the spa to be. As you can see, gotten a little bit of work done. Um... I waited for the rest of the mats to get crafted up at the place and brought them back with me. I put them in chests in there, along with the other stuff I brought prior to now. So um, I did bring some more iron reinforcements and some iron bars because I think we need to uh, be able to keep the, I mean, uh, um, yeah, keep the potential dangers outside of the spa. And, and people can leave anytime they want. Don't get me wrong; they they have the opportunity. But just in case, you know, people that aren't invited try to get in here because it's going to be an amazing place. Everyone's going to want to be here. It's going to be the hot place. We gotta be able to somehow secure it. So that's I brought those with me. Um, I ended up putting the second wheel of pain this side instead of going this way because it was cutting into the dirt. And we're trying to have a high quality establishment here. We can't have any, you know, like dirt. Right? Well, there's that is exfoliating um, mixtures there. That's for exfoliation. That is not true dirt. It is a sand uh, type prototype mix that they're standing on. So we don't want it to get, you know, contaminated. That's what it is. Yeah, that contaminated. Anyway, um, I've added a bit of front pieces here. 
Uh, we need to grab some wedges. I think I got wedges. I'd rather have wedges than wedges. Right there. Bam. And I think this is the perfect set to do a spot with, by the way. Let's do that. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so we need to do... I've been putting sandstone foundations and wedges below. Well, just foundations right now, but I'm going to do wedges below the top layer. Uh, not to be like a cheap like resort owner or anything like that, but to be kind of like a cheap resort owner. Um, sandstone wedge of goodness. Let's put you here. And now I'm encumbered again. Let's make sure we're facing the correct direction with these. That one can get under there. That one can get under. Nope. I guess there's not one under there. Wait. Okay. Great. I wanted to inspect it further. That was what it was. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. <laughs> All right. That's in. Let's get up here and go ahead and throw these bad boys down. This is to give it a nice little bit of a change up here. Hmm, I almost feel like I should come out a little bit further. Honestly. Honestly. Let's try that on the other side. So, like I said, I've been using uh, the sandstone foundations for the below parts. I did change all these to the foundations of it. That's why I had to go back up because it just ended up costing a lot. Um, and we're making sure they all face left. Even with the sandstone because it influences the facing of the uh, um, foundations above it. Typically. I see how we have two directions we can do. The reason being is like, I've been kind of calling it an arrow. You have this back side here that looks like the end of it, and the front of it kind of has that little triangle thing. So the arrow is facing the upper right-hand corner. We're just trying to keep that consistent on all our floors. So that's that's what's that's what's going on there. So now let's throw in this guy. Hey, that was right. That one's not. And then this one here. There we go. And then bring you up. There we go. I kind of like that spacing better than the, the single out. This is a double out. Yeah, I hate to I hate to break stuff, but we're gonna have to do that to get this over here. So what I'm thinking is on these parts we're adding now. I hate waiting, wasting mats. But it's part of the game. Part of the game. That's what we do. At least we're the ones that farmed it. <laughs> I always felt kind of bad sometimes about with, with the Rothkar. Uh, he said he didn't care, but still I feel kind of bad sometimes we would not be happy with something and have to rip stuff down and start over again. And it has happened before. <laughs> Alright, oh, did we get it all? Wedge. Is there another wedge over here? Not that I can see. Okay. So let's get up out of here. Put you down in the lower ends of this. Wrong one. Me one, two more. Put you here. Let's try to look for the arrow. It's there. And there's the arrow right there. Let's do this here. And again, did I do it right? I did the wrong direction. Oopsie. It's got. I'm facing the wrong way. It's got to go that way. There we go. And you right here. Perfect. Uh, five should be right. So let's get you started here where we can't see the arrow. That one's correct. That one's good. That one's good. Um, I can't even see that down there. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Get you first. Next. There we go. All right, we're good. Excellent. So that kind of helps break up some of the rectangleness we got going on, too. And we might add some things in the corners. Here's a dude here just chilling to watch the construction happen. I feel bad because once we get the stuff up, he's probably not going to be able to see in here. So maybe he'll have to go tell everybody how awesome it looks. And then they'll come in and then they'll want to go to the spa and we'll be good to go. Though, again, it's going to be a select group of individuals allowed. And we're going to send individual invitations, but we can still get the hype up. So he's guess, I guess he's our hype man. Um, okay, I like that. Let's get some walls. Get these bad boys out. 
And I know for sure these edges here, we're going to do walls. I know we could do some fence foundation stuff too, but I kind of want to go with this for right now. Let's go out this far first. Actually, let's not. Let's go out this far first. And I should have grabbed some other things as well. I'm, I don't think I'm going to go down with it because I like how the foundations are coming out of the water. And then you have this wall right there. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, and I like, I love the exterior of it. I really wish we could, they would let modders mess with them. Or at least if they give them different pieces, they can't include these in it. But like add like a outer wall on both sides type thing and an inner wall on both sides thing. That would be amazing. And then have modders make, uh, be able to make like a, like a white marble like this without maybe the center pattern, maybe leave the blue border. That would be amazing. Um, let's see here. We're going to grab the ceilings and we will grab the... Not that. No, stop, stop, stop. There we go. And the stairs. The stairs. There we go. We are going through a lot of mats for this, and I don't have any wedges made. Let's make the Aqualonian. Aqualonian ceiling wedges. Um, I don't have all the mats on me. We need some more mats, too. I have them over here. Which I feel good about the hardened brick count. There we go, and we can just spam some more when it comes time. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy up first. We can get the direction we want. Perfect. And perfect. That one's perfect. Perfect. Nice. Okay, and then we're putting one right here in the middle. Like that, and then put a wall down. Like this. Like this, and like this, and then putting our staircase up. Wait, these are solid. I don't have to do that the other side. All right, let me be able to put one down, please. It's because I put the wall in there. God dang it, I hate wasting mats. There we go. And that was wrong. God dang it, I hate wasting mats. That's correct. Okay, cool. That's kind of finicky today. Those go in here. And we might end up making access points to a below or something like that in the future. I don't know right now. Like that. And then you go right here. And that kind of adds some flavor to it. I like that. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and start adding the pillar uh, supports as well. Because I want to do... I want to do the corners and the fronts, at least with the pillar coatings. I like that. Pillar coatings. That's 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 good. <laughs> uh, there we go here and here. Let's grab the pillars. Let's put the pillars here and grab these guys. Oh, let's just do the, squ the square ones for now. I got it. Did it. Okay, good. So let's do this guy right here and then we can run it down underneath the water and that kind of helps adds a little bit more flavor I'll, you'll see me do this a lot in builds just to help with the flatness of a build it might be some redundancy but it's nowhere near as redundant as well a comp continuously going on a build with just flat walls i like the support oh i did that one wrong god dang john pay attention and you're not you were floaty timing anyway and let's pick up this one and let's grab you and put you here. This is where it meant to go. There we go. And that one's filled in. Yeah, it did. Okay. That double actually looked okay. You might consider it later. So that's kind of how the starting of this is going to go. I would like to do the, the fences on this and then maybe work in the iron bars. Because that looks nice. But let's grab these. I, I was going to do steel ones for this. This is already costing a lot of steel to make. Well, that's okay. I wish I could get them to snap to the top of the fences, but the, the only ones they do that on are the half walls, and we don't have any Aqualonian ones or anything that would match them. But we, I would do want to keep this like this. So, so we're going to make it work. We're going to make it happen. It's going to happen, y'all. And then this is going to go here. And I think we'll just have it like this for now. 
My stomach hurts. Well, it's time to eat some Crunchy Times. Nice job. Nice job with the Crunchy Times. So if we complete this thing almost all the way, well, we'll do it completely around, see how she looks, and then we'll run the pillars up to give it its ceiling. It's 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 ceiling. Like this. And then you should be right there. Nice. God dang it, man. I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to look, so I just keep messing up what I'm doing. Um, can we place another? We can do that on top. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, and then the other ceilings. Oh, I forgot they won't snap on those. Now, wait, how'd I get hurt? Wait, I keep getting hurt. Is it because I'm full and I'm hitting my head on the fence? Is that what it is? That's interesting. Oh my god. Is that protective ones that hurt me? I didn't realize. Oh, they do have the spikes on them. I didn't realize they had the spikes. That's That works then. Um, oh, there is a problem though. Is the height of the pillars is going to work out. Okay. Well, let me do this. I'm going to jump in, get this thing going some more. And what we'll do is we'll come back and see how she turns out. Okay. We got it worked out. Uh, to get this to happen, I went inside here and put a sandstone wall down. And then uh, one of the half walls from the graystone set attached a ceiling to it. Put the pillar uh, snapalization grid in there and then ran pillars down and it supported the ceiling. There's a little bit of a space up there, but I kind of like it considering how much air is already flowing through here, so I don't mind it. And did the exact same thing there on that side. And then I tested this out, and I kind of like it too. Put a wall cap, uh, whatever, roof cap on the end of there, and then had it inside the doorway with a, with a, uh, the iron bar inside. Since they're all different meshes, we should be okay. And it kind of lines up pretty nice for the corners. Again, this is, you know, people can leave any time they want. This is just to you know, make sure any, like, you know, you know, some like we, 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 uh, invitation only. I mean, I, a lot of people, you know, you guys have been to events. A lot of people don't understand what that means. You know, you get, had your mom's birthday and then the dude that you'd never met before that says where he met you before is here and blah, blah, blah. Didn't even bring anything for the potluck. It's that kind of a thing, you know? Can't be, can't be like, you know, that. That's just how it is. Um, I wonder how, if we continue with that fence design. To go with that, how that would look. Layered. Hmm. I know I want this to come out here. Maybe we could do like windows in here. I was trying to click on you. Two of you to be exact. And also queue up another doorway. Because um, I ran this out from here. Then put the foundation down. Then stacked uh, half walls for this. And snap the the stairs to it, put the ceiling in, put stairs on that side, and then um, put a pillar underneath it. And then I could hit the side of the half wall out right here. And it made a nice little, like, you know, walkway in. I think that looks okay. And usually I put these on the angles, so we're just switching it up and doing it like that. I wonder if I should put... Someone might be able to squeeze out that. We can't... I mean, can squeeze in there. Squeeze in there. Can't be having anything bad. Just... just fine. Oh, really? That really matter? No. Well, we can only hope for the best. Uh, there's only so much safety we can we can in ensure for for our patrons in here. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Speaking of patrons, this is a golden bait server. In case you guys are interested, we've had a couple new people join, which is awesome. Um, you just said hello to a few people too. But, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, wanting to come and hang out in the server and stuff like that. Hopefully we'll get some events together once we're more all more established and kind of do some fun stuff, too. Uh, kind of like what I was toying around with the last season and maybe make a quest line and add some new things and all that stuff. But we'll, we'll see how it goes when it comes time. Um, that actually is still pretty interesting. It, what happens above it is really going to be important. Uh, I'm willing to try this. Do I have any left? I do have some left. So what if we did this here, actually on these parts here, put that there. Now, how do walls? Walls will snap inside of it too. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we ought to just do that and take a break from the... Iron bars. 
Okay, that's not a bad start. Uh, and I'm not sure what I want to do right here. Maybe this part can do the bars as well. Make sure it's pointing the right way. You can do this here. Now, I'm going to have to figure out. I can't stack fences. The half walls are a different height. I wonder if I could still do something with that, though. Um, let's see. Let's grab the this guy here. Let's grab these guys right here and see what we can accomplish. Actually, I could, might be able to just do that, and then I have to get a way to support that fence underneath it, so that's probably not going to happen unless I put a ceiling across here to hold it up. Mm. Choices. Ch -ch -ch choices. Uh, let's do this then. Right? We got that up there. Now let's take you and then put you here and just see how that looks. It's going to break if I take it off. Um, maybe we could do the iron bar ceiling underneath that just to kind of give it some sort of like, you know, make sure that it doesn't break if it looks good. All right, I need to put a ceiling on top of that just to see, just to see if it caps it off or not. What about double? No, that doesn't gonna work. That's not gonna work. I thought it might work, but that's not gonna work. Um, I hate wasting pieces, but we gotta have to figure this out. How does that look on top of it, though? Yeah, that might work with some pillars put in there. I'm trying to drink water. Okay, I did. I did. I was about to say, I was like, keep picking up stones. Yeah, that might work. That is showing the front of that across there. I wish I brought some beams, but I don't think I want to put any wood beams in the in with this kind of border. The best thing would have been to bring the Pythagoras steel beams to work on. Oh, no, not there. Oh my god, really? Let's try this one more time, and then we probably won't even get to try it. No. All right. Well, let me toy around with this some more, get this up. I just want to give you an update what we've gotten so far. The spa is coming along nicely. I'm looking forward to getting it done and, and being able to share it with our potential patrons. You guys hold on. All right. So welcome back. As you can see, it's not done. Um, after doing more and more work, I'm realizing that I won't be able to finish this in one episode. I'm actually getting lower on mats, and we have more stuff to build. But I think we could do it by the next episode and also get some thralls, the, uh, <clears throat> some patrons then. So it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I am happy with how it's turning out. I did some work on the inside, though. Actually, a good amount of work. Uh, this is kind of what ate up some stuff. So this is what we're doing. We have a little porch on either end of it just to make sure everyone's doing okay. You guys, everything's fine. That's good. It's good. It's good to see that. And so that cleans up. I think I can put a doorway here, I believe. Um, and then also have this little bit of stuff going on here. So it, it kind of finished out. My plans for over here is actually to make something that goes up higher and have like a, a nice chill area for, you know, our task. Um, our activity coordinators might need a break sometimes. So we'll, we give them a little area like that. So it's, it's hang out at sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, it looks it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. I'm happy so far. It did accomplish the goal so far. Um, and when building this, I noticed that it wasn't exactly center, but it's about as close as I'm going to be able to get with the way we have the ability to play stuff. So it is what it is. I mean, I'm not mad. And I put the t uh, the, 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 um, the activity coordinator up there uh, just to make sure that they weren't sitting at the bottom of the stairs or, or the lovely ladder or anything like that. So that's fine. That looks good to me. Um, but I'm happy with it. It's coming together. It's looking kind of smexy. It's it's got a little bit more work to do. I gotta remove that tree. Uh, we'll get there though. We'll get there though. But yeah, um, like I said, I get lower on mats, so I'm gonna have to spend some time before the next episode, grind out some more mats, get some more things together. This is tier three product, so it, it does it does take a little. It's a little bit more expensive. I'm just gonna say that it's a little more expensive. Luckily, I, I make a pass through the um, the salt flats on the way or the salt bath lake area on the way so i just hit that up too for more brimstone for more steel fire for more steel for more steel reinforcements 
and um, the consolidant isn't that bad per se. So uh, we're getting a good amount of Iker and from our traps. I might have to throw some more down just so it comes up a little bit quicker every time I log on, which is a couple more times. But we should be good. Uh, I think it's funny. I feel bad for him, but uh, our guy over here is looks like he's looking through the window. <laughs> I just noticed that. He's just like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, man, that place looks awesome in there. See, exactly. Building the hype. Building the hype. That's what it's about. Build the hype. And you guys, thank you very much um, for all the support and the comments that you leave. It really makes it feel good. Uh, working hard like this, it, it means a lot to me. So I appreciate that. And all the patrons and then the subscribers and all the Baniacs and everybody all together. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I believe that is the time we've got for today. Like I said, I thought we'd be able to finish it, but... The face says it all. Uh, we didn't have time. We, 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 it took a lot longer than I expected, but I'm liking how it's it's turning out. I plan to do a special roof on this, and I want to get the side area built too. But so far, it looks looks very uh, like a high security spa area. Like you know, you're safe when you go in here. You're safe. You know what I mean? You don't worry about anything coming in. We're good. But that, like I said, that is the time we got for today. Hopefully, you guys will like what you see. If you like what you see, don't forget to send the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.